All right, so this tip I got from Jason Yaroslavsov, I butchered that name, but I'm very sorry. But basically, it is exporting a bin, so you're able to double click it, and it opens Resolve with the project templates that is saved inside the bin. And this is pretty cool when I first saw it. And I think I'll just show you how to do it real quick. Just make its own separate video on it, and just, you know, give credits where credits do. But basically, you export this bin to your desktop, and then you could double click it when you want to open a new project, and it'll create a project with the bins that you already have saved in your media pool, so you don't have to make it every single time. I use this a lot for when I make edits, so I have my certain folders, so you'll see real quickly. So now, if I look at my media pool, I have my project template with my comps, my comps bin, my Twix bin, my clips bin, everything else here. I also have, also in my timelines, I have my timelines saved over here so i can just drag them in onto my timeline over here click this open the timeline tab like this so it's right here and drag this into the tab is over here and then it'll pop up over here and then have another timeline which is my main timeline so i can scrub through the footage on this timeline and then go transfer it to the main timeline over here where i'm going to do all the editing and then like this was an accident over there so you don't do that but basically what you do is you create a bin and you go to a new project you create a bin and then in that bin, you put more bins. <laughs> if you don't know how to add a bin, you just right click, go to new bin, and then it'll create a bin. You can rename it to whatever you want, just like that. And then what you need to do in order for the new bin to save, once we export this bin, is you need to put some sort of clip or something inside the bin so it saves. So right now I have this adjustment clip that is called placeholder. I put it in there and have it in all these bins to make sure that they save. Basically, I have that ready, just like that. And now I can just go up to the project template, the main bin over here, right click it and go to export bin right here and it exports and I can save it wherever I want. Let me just save it here so I can show you and let's save it to my desktop. So now I can close this project. I do not need to save this one. Now we have it over here just like this and I can just open this up by double clicking and it will create a new project wherever I want and I just have it on my desktop near the DaVinci Resolve thing over here. So if I want to open up my template, all my bins and stuff is already here right next to DaVinci Resolve. And yeah, that's just a quick way of starting your project, your bins. Also, when my pack comes out, I'll include this file in there so you can use it whenever you want. But for now, you'll have to make it through this process. Also make sure when you open up this project, if you want to save the project, hit Control S and then rename it to whatever project name you want. It'll save it to your database. All right.